I'm going old school on this one. It's just me and a bottle of wine and a brown paper bag. On the next episode of Stay Rad Wine Blog TV. Hey everybody, it's Jeff. Welcome to another episode of Stay Rad Wine Blog TV. You know what time it is. <laughs> that was stupid. Uh, it's time for a brown bag tasting. So uh, today, while I was at work, uh, Kara swung by the local Costco and picked me up a wine. I said, give me a wine that's around $20, uh, a, a single grape variety on the label. Um, so something I could do a, a tasting with. And you guys know um, when I do blind tastings, I, I really like to cheat. And what I mean by that is I always like to feel the bottle. So right away, you notice my hands are staying the same width apart, the whole length of the bottle. So right away, we know it's that Bordeaux style bottle. Um, and sometimes that's a little, you know, a little trick you can use to, to narrow down your choices for those grapes. But let's pour this. I'm going to guess right off the bat that it's red. I am good. All right, so color-wise, I'm getting like a, a dark, like almost purple uh, type of hue to that. So... Again, it's it's keeping me in those um, Bordeaux grape type of ranges when I see that. Typically when I see like that, those um, purplish red type of colors, like typically I think it might be like a young Malbec or maybe like a, a young Cabernet, possibly. Um, but let's get into the nose and see where we go from there. Wow, so... <clears throat> I'm getting these like uh, chalky type of mineral notes that uh, are, are pretty apparent to, at the beginning of, of uh, the nose, but then right behind it there's like these um, more red type of fruit notes. Like I'm getting like a, a red currant, I'm getting like a cranberry, maybe a little bit of cherry on the nose too. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it, it smells like there's some big fruit up front, some big red uh, fruit up front. So again, you know, that along with the color um, is giving me an idea in terms of its age. I mean, this is relatively young just based on that. Like, I'm going to say like 2012, possibly 2013 just on that. But we'll narrow it down as I uh, get into the palette. Okay, so I'm getting some of these like chalky type of tannins. There's a little bit of astringency that's going along with it. And there is a um, an oaky component to it. Um, not like vanilla oak, but spicy um, type of oak, um, which always to me is, is a signal that it's like aged in, in typically American uh, oak barrels. More tart type of fruits, again, like red currant, cranberry, a little bit of raspberry. And, you know, there's this nice uh, acidity that's going with it. And, you know, I've, I've just kind of, uh, there's this green note too. And I think like the, um, you know, that astringent American oaky type of feel. For some reason, whenever I whenever I get that, I, I tend to gravitate towards South America. I mean, this is definitely like New World uh, Bordeaux grape to me. It's just that the fruit is throwing me off like you know if I'm getting like this um you know spicy American oak thing um with like some darker fruit notes I might go with a Malbec um to me on some level 
And it's weird, like the last time I participated in a, in a wine tasting, I wasn't even tasting the wine. I was doing the um, We Like Drinking podcast and uh, Jim was tasting something that turned out to be, uh, it was a, was it a, like a California Cabernet? Um, but my guess at the time was that it was a Chilean Cabernet. And on some level, this has taken me like in the exact same direction. Um, the astringency uh, that's in there, the long acid, there's some um, green type of bell pepper notes uh, in the background. It's all taken me to um, chili, honestly. And so maybe now's the time to throw out that wild card. You know, um, I was saying Chilean Cabernet uh, the last time I was I was in that mind frame, but maybe this is a Chilean Carmenere. Maybe. That's what I'm going to go. So I'm going to go ahead and, and write that down. I mean, I'm just going to go out on a limb. It's some sort of Bordeaux variety, but I'm going to say Chilean Car Carmenere. Chile Carmenere. Um... Year-wise, I am going to say it's a 2000, 2012, um, just because, I, I mean, there's not like an explosion of fruit there. It is a little bit more uh, muted on the palate, and wow, well, I told Kara to give me something in like that $20 range, but I feel like this is speaking like something that's uh, less than $20, maybe more towards like the... $15, $16 price point. Uh, and then I've got to go, you know, score wise, I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it a solid 87 plus. And Kara's in the kitchen right next to me making dinner right now. And I'm sure she's like really angry at me for giving it an 87 plus. But <laughs> yeah, I'm looking over and she's giving me that look. I know that look a lot. Um, it, I mean, it's perfectly fine. Um, you know, I would say that for your money, you could probably get something better. But I, I mean, it, it seems like it's it's right on par with some sort of South American Bordeaux. Uh, and again, I'm going to say Chilean Carmenere from 2012. Now, let's reveal. It's been a while. Watch, it's going to be a Napa Cabernet. My goodness. So I was right in the sense that it was South American. I was right in the sense that it was New Worldian, uh, which is South American. Uh, well, South America is in the New World. So I was right with that. Um, man, I was right that it was a Bordeaux variety. And if I'd have stuck to the color, I think that would have taken me all the way. This is the Cantina Malbec from Mendoza, Argentina. Let me see if they're giving me any sort of like uh, method behind this high altitude. So I, maybe that lends itself to the um, to that like good acidity that's there. Yeah, this is high mountain vines. Um, yeah, it, it, and 2012. Hey, I was good on the year too. I mean, so I feel like it was in that right area. I think <clears throat> again, uh, astringent, spicy. Uh, American oak almost always to me says South America and then the color and the shape of the bottle kind of helped too so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this I sure did I'm gonna enjoy this wine too how much was this $16 so look at me I'm killing it uh, yeah, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about uh, Argentine Malbecs, Malbecs in general, South American wines. Till next time, everybody, stay rad.